So uh, the reason behind of I'm here uh, because a lot of uh, students actually, uh, you know, uh, text me or uh, the message me all the time. Uh, I want to know something like this. I want to uh, know this information or blah, blah. So this is uh, sometimes difficult for me to answer one by one. Uh, it is really difficult for me. So that's why I thought, why not? I will arrange something for everybody. But initially I thought it will be arranged for the whole marketing department. But Priya was a little bit shaky that no, sir, uh, it will be uh, better to stick on our 26th. But though I'm not agree with it, uh, uh, I always want to spread uh, whatever my thoughts to everyone. But I'm not familiar with the like online streaming and all these because I never wanted to be a popularity or something like this. So. I wanted to be a confined, uh, enjoy the confined environment to build a particular people or so. So how you'll proceed on? Or I will go based on your questionnaire. I think I will go based on your questionnaire, but this questionnaire is totally un unorganized. I'm sorry to say, because uh, it should be organized like, okay, like any education oriented, portion like the scholarship or studying abroad, it ek jagay thakbe, requirement ek jagay thakbe, career ek jagay thakbe, okay? But, uh, but like the quality, aptitudes, and some other questions, but social entrepreneurship, igulo abar ek jagay thakbe. So ita ashole, ama ke ek bar dukhin meru, ek bar uttor meru, ibhabe jete hobe. So I will try to, um, um, cover as much as I can. So let's start. First question I can see, um, how do I get any scholarship from abroad? Though it's in like a little bit of uh, upper level question for you, like you are probably, uh, which semester you are belong to right now? Fifth semester, sir. Fifth semester. One microphone should be open, like uh, CR or the Priya can or switch on her microphone so that uh, she or he can answer um, uh, if I ask any questions. So everybody, if everybody start answering, then it will be a chaos. So uh, a scholarship, uh, basically it's not easy answer. There is no shortcut way to get the scholarship. Um, then you have to uh, look at the profile of the university or institutions scholarship board and every university every colleges uh, uh, america at a college uh, don't afraid of by uh, you know seeing the name of college so you can get college money bangladesh university so uh, so every colleges or universities they have their scholarship board and they are updating every now and then then like uh, what kind of uh, uh, you know scholarship facilities they have based on uh, the like the programs, uh, business programs, among the business programs, like if you go to my university, Western Illinois University, then you'll find, uh, you'll find then how many scholarship belongs to supply chain management, marketing and all this, so that you can figure it out and all this. And a scholarship is different kind. I cannot explain all this here, just I'm giving you a brief idea, like most of the time in USA, the students are coming here through the graduate assistantship or research assistantship. What is that? Uh, so it's like a, they will give you like a part time works. Uh, so they will waive your tuition fees. So uh, most of the Bangladeshi students, most of the Asian students, most of the, the abroad students are coming here and arranging themselves as a, like a GA student, graduate assistance, and RA students means research assistantship. So they are going to do whatever uh, the department is assigning them to do, and then they will waive their tuition fees. It is a very, very a good amount of money. And, and uh, you know, the tuition fee is a, is a significant amount of money. And actually the living cost is not that much in USA. And within the living cost, even uh, I think only uh, housing cost is like 60% again. So this is a brief idea. So 
whenever you try something here in us eh, and then definitely you for go for graduate assistantship research assistantship and other scholarship but first you have to have a target to waive your tuition fees and it will it will relieve you a lot if you want to so if you like you are undergraduate student if you come now want to come now by credit uh, having credit transfer i do encourage if you want to come please come now it is a very good time to come and uh, so you can try for undergrad and then you may not require for GRE GMAT at this stage you may require TOEFL or uh, ILTS and nowadays once upon a time um, American colleges and universities didn't accept uh, never accept uh, the ILTS but nowadays uh, most of the universities are accepting uh, ILTS. So it's a good thing for you. So whenever you try for Europe and do ILTS, and so you can use the same uh, score uh, for American University. So the first step is to get uh, admissions. Get the admission first. And to get the admission, probably some universities have a, like a free application fees and, and some universities has like a $25, $35, $50 fees. So you have to get some admission first. Don't be so ambitious without getting, uh, nobody will tell you, okay, without getting admissions, then you will get a scholarship. So you should have an options. Okay. And one more, there are so many things. I can take a session on it actually. So I will take it later on in, in generic way because it is a belongs to 26. So uh, obviously uh, the, the discussion cannot be broadened than this. So the more importantly, uh, yes, everybody wants to uh, study the ranked university. The America has like a 5,500 plus universities. Can you imagine? So uh, obviously you have heard about, a lot of heard about Harvard universities, MITs, and these kind of um, universities. Everybody heard, everybody has a dream of like they want, they will study on a, a, such kind of universities. Everybody love to. But to be frankly, these are the very high ranked universities. Their requirement is so high. And now it's up to you if you have ambition, if you have a quality. I cannot say that whether you can or you cannot. It's your ambitions. It's your, uh, uh, like, uh, what is called uh, the jeel inside, whatever you have. Then you can make it. So many Bangladeshis are doing it. So you can do it. So if you have this. But uh, the discussion I made always, the lecture I always give to the classroom or any kind of things I always tell to the people, is based on my um, experience. If I were uh, in your side, then what I will do, then I will never target the high-ranked university. I will target the mid-ranked or upper mid-ranked universities. So I will enter first, and then I will, if I want to have a greater ambition, then I will jump out to the, uh, the, the good universities through the trade transfer. But America has a beauty uh, because um, uh, the number one university versus 5,500 university, it doesn't mean the quality of education is deteriorated 5,500 times. It probably like Unishar Beach, 19 and 20, or 18 or 20, or at worst like 16 or 20. So don't, don't get, so if the MIT has a cost of like a $50,000 per year, and so like, uh, and, and remote universities has a cost of only 10,000, or nine thousand dollar per year. So there is a he. So he, you have to think about this. But costing is a big deal. America uh, is not doing business on the higher studies like the other European in, uh, in, uh, uh, countries. So that is the thing. American context and Europe is a different ball game. Um, within Europe, obviously, uh, if you think about e UK, if you if you talked about uh, Sweden or Scandinavian countries or German or some other. So every country is different. And now the China is open up their field. And so I never tried about the China and the India and all this. But uh, some of the universities are very good universities nowadays. China has developed a lot. The reason behind of uh, they invited their scholars 
to work uh, their own country by paying more money, which is the absent in our country. Uh, in our country, if somebody is a scholar and then they will kicked out. Uh, so, but in China, what has happened? They invited their scholars, those who have a good foreign degrees, they are paying a good salaries, good houses, good facilities. And then this is how they are developing all these things. And they have infrastructurally developed a fantastic. So I'm not sure about those who are studying in China. So they, they, so many of your teachers uh, have done the degree in China. So they can talk about uh, uh, their profile, I think. But uh, mostly uh, the way we grooming up from the childhood, then we know about the Europe and USA is the the most and then you can talk about the australia has a lot of a scope uh but australia is a relatively small country in terms of the population and university uh, uh, population like university they have like a major 17 or 18 universities it's not that much so a scope is less but they are providing a lot of a scholarship as well so you can try that as well and second question I can see, then why should I take GRE and GMAT course? See, without knowing um, a particular thing, you should not do anything else. Uh, why? Because uh, you, you need, to, uh, need to know what is your target and why should you do this? Uh, so I'm not sure how far you know about the GMAT or GRE. So I never did anything, either GMAT, neither GRE. So probably I studied myself TOEFL. I never go to the any went to the any coaching center. I I I I gone through the TOEFL book. I did have a, like a couple of times ILTS, um, uh, you know, um, due to the Australian education and so many uh, uh, different trial. And I also read a little bit of GMAT, not all of them so but i remember participate the exam so it's a it's a it's a, it's a, a tough one but um, uh, if you want a better admissions better uh, affiliations then you have to do it gmat is for basically mba uh, and gre is having a greater scope so it's like a graduate courses there is a list of graduate courses what do you should do then you go to that you should target the university first and go to their admission departments admission requirement and list it down like uh, what i suggest all of you uh, that make an excel file okay and just go to an university and then find out then what they require uh, so what is their requirement i'll just gre gmat and then you will find after digging out like 10, 20 universities uh, all over the globe, and then you find then what is the requirement. And now I can talk about like USA because currently I am located at the USA. So if you are like an average student like me, I'm a very poor student in my uh, student life. I was a backpatcher. I was always so many times kicked out by my teachers, um, thrown out from the classroom. So uh, that was my <laughs> uh, uh, every day's uh, uh, fate, you can say. Uh, but whenever I ask questions, and that is sort of a problem. So I got zero in my tutorial. I got so many punishments uh, in my lifetime. So, but nothing can stop you actually, this kind of things. Um, uh, I still respect my teachers, though they did a lot of bad with me. And so, but I never uh, did anything wrong with them. But I just laughed with them, just what they did with me. And then I was colleague uh, of them like for 18 years. Uh, so even I was in the primary school, and then I was thrown so many times um, uh, due to like uh, playing cricket, football, or some other things. Anyway, that is the bad part of my life. So anyway, so, but if you have a like integrity, if you keep trying yourself, if you believe on almighty, if you just uh, do the hard work, I believe then you will reach your target one day, but there is no shortcut. Some people get the success very quickly, but don't 
expect in your cases. If you get it, fantastic, good. But if you don't get it, don't uh, disheart it. So anyway, in USA, then what I'm then missing the point, then you can target like a, there we have a, like a 50 states and some territories. Like if you target Midwestern countries, like um, account uh, sorry Midwestern uh, states, say for um, like Michigan or uh, uh, Wisconsin, uh, Ohio, Illinois, uh, some kind of things are uh, Wyoming. So these kind of areas, there are so many universities, the low cost, uh, the degree value is almost similar the, uh, like the, the costly universities. So you can have a target because it's a, why people don't want to come here. There are so many reasons. One of the reasons is weather. Weather is little rough in winter, okay? But people are living here, always keep in mind, people are living in Alaska, people are living in the, some other areas where it's like a six months, uh, day and six months uh, and, uh, night. So you can leave as well. So you have to have always have an intention, positive intention, okay? So anyway, number three, I can see to become a public university teacher. Uh, so I think it's a printing mistake. So typing mistake, which sites do I need to be proficient in? I think I was, belongs to a public university. So I should not say anything good or bad nowadays. So I'm, I'm not, um, comfortable with it right now. I never explain why I left um, the university that much. People are explaining a lot. <laughs> Let them explain. Uh, to become public university teacher, actually there is no formula is going on right now. Once upon a time it was formula was you have to have a, like a, uh, yes, a first class first or position first class first and then they maybe they if the position is empty and they will pick you up but it's not happening nowadays that's what i can say i was not also first class first okay so it doesn't mean that you do not have the quality um, if you are a backbencher if you are a first class 10th position or first class seven i do i personally believe there should not have bar there should not have any bar in selecting public university teacher like, oh, you have to have a 3.75 or 4. No, I don't believe so. Because you might have a 4 out of 4, but you might not have that much of knowledge that, like other student who has a 3.5 or 3.25. So it should be open ball game. And so there should be a minimum threshold. Say, I believe 3.5 is a fair ball game. Uh, this is my perception. I'm not a policymaker. I'm nothing to the, uh, I'm a failed teacher in, in, in the context of Bangladesh. Bangladesh. So um, I should not say like the big words uh, from my mouth, uh, but I'm just giving my opinion. So 3.5, but fairly judging. Whenever like 10 candidates are there, 3.5 to 4, and then 10 candidates are there, then you should fairly judge. But I should not say everything is unfair, and I should not say everything is fair. But first, you have to have a good result. You have to have a good connectivity with your teachers. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you should let them know from the beginning how you wanted to be a teacher. That's how then you, you should highlight yourself. Yeah, that is what I am also, you have to sell yourself. That's the things I told you in the marketing class. Uh, then you have to sell yourself. That's how then you have to sell yourself to your uh, like uh, influential teachers that, oh, I wanted to be teachers and I have uh, some sort of quality, whatever you want. So anyway, I should not say uh, more than this right now. So actually the quality is a vague word. You can explain a person as a quality fold or quality lace. Less. It depends on how you are explaining. Okay, you understand my point probably, so forget it. So what are the institutional wires that are going to be rise after the pandemic? Nobody knows. We can guess only. See, uh, due to the, uh, we have nowadays um, uh, social media and based on the pandemic, Corona, COVID-19, 
so many theories so many doctors has given are given giving theories videos and write ups scientists are talking too many things but in fact none of this are valid okay the people always love to give something like us i am giving you formula right now so uh, i'm sorry for that because um, you push me to do this uh, so anyway this this is not my fault okay um, so institutional voids there i think there is there will be a lot of things might come but again keep always uh, in your mind that there will be a uh, you know, vacuum like uh, uh, voids are coming up, but again, there will be a more opportunities are coming up probably if world will sustain again. And and if you see the world history like last thousands years, if there is some uh, problems in uh, in the world like a World War One, World War Two, and then world is a boom again, like a bull whip uh, model. Whenever I explain the bull whip model, and then we talked about, so it's like an ups and downs. So every fall, uh, every uh, every rise uh, has a witness as a fall before uh, this, uh, the time uh, uh, of rise or fall. So that's how then you have to think about actually. Um, nobody knows, but definitely if lockdown will continue for another three, four months, uh, uh, then there will be impact of economy in economy, socially and politically even. And there are so many, so many problems uh, are happening. So uh, so yes the problem uh, imon has written that we are hearing now after the breakout situation of the opportunities in abroad will be declined uh can you give me an example what kind of uh, breakdown you heard uh from sources so that i can uh, point it out from my uh, understanding so whatever I'm telling so there are so many impacts will be going on so see uh, in USA I can see that they are uh, last 50 years or uh, last 30 years they are relied on China too much unnecessarily too much unnecessarily so a country is sending people in Mars and moon do you think they cannot make like wearings t-shirts or some other things they can make it but they are going to asia bangladesh china and some other country to do it because why because america do not like to doesn't like to spend uh, time on it because they want to save money on it and they don't want to this kind of job rather they want to do the high profile things but they did a mistake right now. So they are understanding because in your daily chores, daily lives, then you need this. Okay. Uh, you need this. So that's why American economists are now discussing about that they, after this pandemic, and um, probably they will try to build their own capacity more and more, or they will find alternative sources. So when Trump administration came and they have a, like a tug of war with um, China, and so they have a, like a trade war with the China, and then you know about this. And so, and then they imposed a lot of taxes and tariffs to, to the China as Chinese products. And do you know, and, and then, then American companies are looking for alternative sources, India and some other places and Vietnam. And still China has given them a lowest quote having these tariffs and tariffs. So, so China has the capacity. There is no, no question about it. There's no question about it. So uh, that's why and they admire it. So every company wants to save money. And because the world has gone through a model of price sensitivity, and that's how it's gone. So obviously, there will be more changes is coming um, um, coming out. Uh, so we don't know what exactly will happen, but definitely there will be a change. And that's why I warn you so many times in my writing, in my Facebook status, then you need to prepare yourself for any kind of changes. 
and there will be a, a scarcity of job in the job market there will be a economic recession probably and already we are suffering uh, start suffering it so the pandemic will not go away right away so it will uh, stay like influenza or some other and and how it will stay we nobody knows even the vaccine will come it will take three three years uh, and it will have a, like a side effects and all this so there will be a lot of lot of and it will be settled down after 10 to 15 years even and there are so many super bugs are threading to come down to the uh, the human bodies so there will be a, a mass situation on unless so i believe on almighty if almighty will not help us and so probably we cannot help ourselves so anyway, but you have to prepare yourself and there will be change. And so the change has uh, two options. One is disaster and one is opportunity. So if changes happen, so one, one side of the aspect, there will be disaster. Some, some people or some countries will suffer from with the disaster. But at the same time, uh, what will happen? The, the other part of the world will get the opportunity say usa has decided or europe has already decided they will look for alternative uh, sources so obviously then what will happen they will go they, they will look for the alternative sources which country they will look for they'll look for country like bangladesh so there will be an opportunity of bangladesh to creating more and more inputs for the european usa and there will be more business like garments industry okay so can you imagine uh, can you imagine so that there will be more job is coming up so if it is happened so don't be afraid of don't be afraid of. i trust on almighty so uh, he will decide what will happen you just have to do whatever you are doing keep doing your hard work and you will be paid off okay so okay um like what will be the entrepreneur interventions that will bring the revolution change people's lives in a positive way as well as to make profit for the entrepreneurs now every company is looking for surviving nobody is uh, except few companies those are the science based like those who are making vaccines or uh, medical equipments ventilator or some other they can think about profit right now but rest of the companies are just want to survive in usa can you imagine like almost six crore people are unemployed last four to five months so it's not a good sign uh, so uh, I, i'm not sure uh, whether we have bangladesh has any particular authentic data or not then how many people are getting unemployed how many people are uh, not getting uh, like uh, enough money for maintaining daily lives so we are not sure so entrepreneurs uh, have to maybe switch uh, uh, some some items uh, switch back to some items which is uh, related to the change situation i don't know who is doing what some of the industries maybe if people has less money then so many industries will be badly hit uh, like the real estate business or restaurant business and some other things and i think so many questions are related to entrepreneurs and there is no shortcut way to be an entrepreneur. okay and then i have a video short video in youtube regarding the uh, entrepreneur so you can uh, watch it and then you can have an idea so in one particular session i cannot cover most of them so one session one particular topic will be much better so that i can concentrate on this uh, matter so entrepreneurs should target nowadays uh, there is a question the new entrepreneur should target after the pandemic so again nobody knows what will happen after pandemic nobody knows okay but you can guess what will happen uh, so what they need there are a couple of needs so in usa we feel then we have a problem with we have a plenty of food plenty of supply but it is not reaching to the customer and so we have a failure of the supply chain kind of it so supply chain industry should be more focused in coming days that's for sure the machine learning things will be more appreciated by the industry 
okay and uh, automatic warehousing will get more attention in the coming days so entrepreneurs is looking at this in supply chain because uh, in us a lot of products are there it's still in the warehouse but it's not flowing to the the shelves are empty uh because distance are too uh, uh, uh like um far so that's why they cannot reach on time so that is how we have to think so in in bangladesh i'm not sure what is the current situation i'm not right now whatever i'm connecting with my friends and family i know the same thing so the the industries are collapsing especially i was involving and i'm also involving the agro waste in bangladesh so i can find then we cannot sell milk properly we cannot sell um, like day old chicks or chickens or beef and uh, vegetables and anything else so what is happening these are the perishable goods the farmers are ultimately loser and nobody will pay back them and so they will just crash like one more time so it should be taken care of otherwise what will happen you are looking for quality and, and in fact you will not get this in coming days so you have to be careful uh, you means i think the policy maker has to be careful so what they are trying to do and they have to uh, you know take the right strategy to uh, uh, you know so that they can survive and so that you can get enough food so that uh, you will uh, survive and so you to understand so there is a heaps of a scope of supply chain so what is the matter nowadays you have to reach the customers safely with this pandemic right so this could be a very good business in coming days so if you have if you ensured the customers uh, i am helping you to get the safest food and in a safely manner and then you will get uh, the business actually the service industry will grow up more than the production industry so but production industry need uh, um, obviously it is linked to the service industry so you can involve with the production you can involve with the service it's up to your um, uh, choice none of the business is bad but you have to look on it then how you will deal this business with the current situation is a very worthy things uh, i know then you don't like this kind of sentence and you better like them if i say oh you invest one one lakh taka or two lakh taka or two thousand dollar you will get hundred dollar profit and then uh, you will be more happy to hear that but no i cannot give you a guarantee and if somebody is giving guarantee i'm sorry for that and if you hear see in my lifetime i was right in some cases see, there are so many business so um, uh, opportunity came to me like oh if you invest one lakh taka you will get 3000 taka in a month 4000 taka in a month i never accepted this i told the semester in the classroom easy money i never accepted i know something is wrong with easy money i never run for interest i never run for easy money so i saw that what is the rationality okay if you invest 1000 uh, 1 lakh taka if you get like a monthly 5000 taka it's too much that means in a year 70 uh, uh, 5 into 12 60000 that means 60 percent uh, you know uh, gain how come something wrong okay the bank interest is less than 10 percent okay so you can expect 10 to 20 percent and now you're getting 60 percent. something is wrong somebody is doing wrong it's like it's a very basic theory so you have to target based on the situation whatever uh, the situation you have the supply industry will get more focus i think and bangladesh probably will get more opportunity i'm not sure how much they can hold it because i know that after the pandemic uh the more and more situation uh, the companies will knock bangladesh like countries uh to get supplies i'm not sure how many companies can uh, uh, you know ensure them whether they can make this product on time or not so that's the story actually 
Oh, we still am in six. What kind of opportunities are there? I think I can cover it. And uh, we are from market or oh, garments industry. You're talking about. See, opportunity as a marketer. There is an heaps of opportunity in the government's industry. The merchandiser is marketer. Okay. Uh, like the supply chain people are from marketing guys. So, so I am a little bit, uh, you know, aside of like um, uh, marketing nowadays. I'm, I'm zooming to the supply chain nowadays, but I was belongs to marketing in my almost the half of my life. I started my marketing study in 1993 for uh, batch. So, um, and before I came here, then I was dealing in marketing so and sales. Um, obviously, supply chain was my major in uh, PhD, that's how I'm here. So I can see that supply chain has a more scope to me. This is my viewpoint, uh, no offense. Uh, so that's why I, I, I also focus the same thing in the classroom. Uh, even I was uh, dealing marketing. I said, so zoom into it. marketing is getting bigger. So to zoom into uh, a particular side of marketing, whether branding, whether whatever international business or merchandising, whatever the topics of supply chain. And within the supply chain, you may deal uh, uh, about the particular things about the sourcing or some other things, okay? uh again it's a different type of question number seven i can see how to answer when an interviewer asks tell me a little about yourself i think i'm not an expert but i can whatever i'm telling this is from my experience so if i were in your uh, chair then obviously i will tell whatever they wanted to hear whatever and based on whatever i had that means, say you have applied for a position of sales, and if you are to start telling about if you have an entrepreneurial ability, you should not say something like this because they don't want to hear this. They want to hear from you about the sales capability. Even if you are applied for an accounting post, for example, though you are not expert on accounting, but whatever you know on accounting, then you should deliver on, okay, this is, this is happening. And then I know accounting that far. And that's how you have to focus on whether you're focusing so many things. I can see that it's a good thing. So many students are get, start getting the online uh, certifications. I, I, I had encouraged so many people and it's still encouraging people to do it. Uh, but I never get any single certificate except my, uh, um, what is called, the graduation and the post graduation or PhD certificate. Um, so I'm not I am not telling that it, it it will not require it will require. But now see you got like it's forty different certificate, online certification, short courses. But will you show all this forty certificate to uh, your interview board with the, like a resume or telling all the story? No, you will not get that much of time. You will get thirty seconds to explain yourself. So zoom the post you uh, are uh, applied and then you have to figure out that is how you have to do it so okay so you have to tell yourself about um, so how to create the first impression in an interview <laughs> that's the biggest challenge for everyone do something uh, which never seen by the interviewer so those who are in the interview board, they are looking for something better than others, okay? Not based or so, something better than others. It depends on the people who are sitting in the chair. They have a different merits. I have played a role in interview boards so many years in a limited way or in, a, in a whatever capacity I have done. What I was looking for, I was looking for actually uh, the ambitious, not super ambitious, ambitious people and hardy people. Those who have an, an intention to do the hard work 
and I would like to choose them. Rather, they are telling, oh, I have, some people are saying, oh, I have everything, every qualities. Whatever you push me, then I will do it. I don't believe them. So you have to always talk. Uh, I know that there is a question then uh, how to deal with the loopholes um, uh, in the interview. So you have to tell about your some uh, you know weak points as well, so that okay you don't have any uh, real life uh, experience, but how you overcome the situation, okay, overcome the situation based on your academic learning uh, with the real life. So how to deal the real life, even if you are not deal, never dealt with the real life, but you can deal it because you have enough understanding of cases, enough understanding of real life and all this through the academic uh, books or cases or some other uh, way. That's how you have to highlight. And, and then you have to prove something about your leadership through the different organization you have engaged in some other way. Uh -huh. I'm getting tired. Only I'm in nine. I know that there is more than 50 questions. I think mm, I don't know how many I can cover today. Uh, you can start uh, uh, just keep commenting uh, in the chat box so that um, I know then I'm, I'm going in a right way. If you are feeling bored, I can stop here. Okay, because well, when the session is more than hour and it is sometimes difficult to hold the nerve. Okay, so well, anyway, uh, so I think I can. I have answered nine. Uh, number ten. What qualities do I need to adapt the cope up uh, with the environment of a new job? Again what nature of job you are talking about. So you have to determine right now, you are a student, then what kind of job you are looking for. You have to have a, I have told all these things in the classroom, like plan A, plan B, plan C, then you have to have a, like a several options you have to choose and then find out what kind of things you want. Okay. And then and look at the successful people on that area then because now the technology era and due to the pandemic so many people's come out to the online phase and you are hearing them uh you are watching them how they are talking what they're talking how old did they are and how and then you have been uh, learning on it so you can sometimes you might have an options to ask the question to them so if you have this, please question to them because they are in they are from the real life, okay? Uh, so don't miss out these sessions. It is important that the, the, the jobs you're targeting. Obviously, whatever target you will have, uh, you are you do have right now, probably it will not match with the reality in coming days. Don't, don't forget it because look at me. Uh, I never wanted to be a teacher. Teaching was more, most, uh, hatred profession to me it was because i told you um, i told you that um, uh, because i i never treated in a well not from all the teachers but uh, i do respect my good teachers and they know better than me and still i have a connectivity with my respected teachers uh, but overall uh, you know what is happening uh, forget these issues. So you have to do something uh, your own. I was targeting MNC, uh, multinational company, but I never made it in my first trial. And um, I made it like a local companies and with like a 4,000 salary. I'm talking about the job. I'm not talking about the business profile. And only 4,000. On the time, there is a, like a... Uh, MBA has value on the time, like MBA people was not that much uh, in the market. And now as everybody, uh, and <laughs> you will get, uh, if you get like a 500 people in the crowd and probably the 400 people are MBA. <laughs> so uh, on that time it was not uh, like this. But anyway, I didn't manage um, 
the good things. Like I was managing only 4,000. Even that job was, a, uh, okay, forget it. Like it was, a, so the managing that job was not easy uh, even. And the treatment was so bad. Um, uh, the professionalism of the people were, uh, you know, beyond my imaginations. And so they are so traditional minded. Uh, so anyway, I do respect them. I have a lot of learning then, oh, this is not the job I was looking for. So I quit this job in 27th day, and then I found another one, and I thought on the time the computer programming was um, uh, um, was evaluated by, because computer wave uh, in our country was going on all the time. So I thought, and then computer learning-based companies, I worked for like there for a year, and I found no. That is not also a good match. So that is how you have to learn one by one. And then I found finally MNC and HSBC in a bank. But still, I was not happy because the banking was not actually uh, what I wanted to do. But I was doing good. Uh, um, but, you know, the people has a different intentions. So I wanted to deal FMCG product or something like this on the time. But finally, anyway, that my luck has, has, a, uh, has a different uh, uh, intentions. Luck means what? The Almighty. The Almighty has a different intention than he pushed me uh, to teaching profession. And that is a different story. And so why I'm telling this story to you? Because... You may target something, you may choose something, that's what you said, that what you should target, it's up to completely you. And even if you are targeting a job, you might not get it. Don't be disheartened. Whatever will happen, it will be good for you. When I go, went back to Bangladesh after PhD, I never thought I will leave this country one more time at the age of 45. But see, I'm now in USA. So, I never thought. I thought even if somebody kicked me out, I'll not go out. I may quit the job, but I'll not go out, out from Bangladesh. But this is what might happen to you all the way. You have to agree with it. Uh, I know it is not easy. We are human beings. Uh, I am, um, if you think that, uh, but there is always a bloodshed in your um, uh, heart, bloodshed in your body, bloodshed in your, uh, uh, everywhere. So without bloodshed, uh, you cannot proceed on. Uh, the bloodshed means the struggle. That's what I'm saying. So that's why I write sometimes to my Facebook wall, nobody see some cry doesn't have weakness. Okay. You have to keep trying and success will give by the almighty, okay? Okay, the next question. So can you sometimes highly demandable job? In... Uh, if you distract me, then I should say, see, the, it depends on um, uh, what kind of things you are looking for. Every sector has a demandable job, okay? Uh, I should not say, okay, this is an IT sector, you will have a more demandable things. Obviously, uh, I can see a lot of my friends are business uh, uh, friends, economics uh, oriented friends are coming here and they are doing the IT based solutions right now. Because if you come to USA, then you will get uh, more jobs in IT. So they, they had a, a, a study again, and then, then they prepared themselves to that. So they might have a degree on uh, finance, banking, or uh, marketing, human resource, doesn't matter. When they came to an environment, and, and so they see that the job market is, belongs to IT most, and then they, they have it an, another learning. So that's why I always uh, give you the uh, like a tips. Uh, I used to tell you all the time, uh, take always uh, some, uh, some um, uh, IT-related 
things which is going like nowadays sap or some other has a lot of values you know uh, some programming so will have uh, more value so you know the the most important part of this uh, uh, the all business might be closed or shut down but h1b which is called in us like uh, the professional categories the the people are hiring for their job uh, it will never stop probably because the resource for people has a demand even if it is a in a marketing era or branding era or supply chain uh, area or uh, or science area i do not have very much idea about the science there so i'm not going through it obviously these countries are science based so the lot of the scopes are have, uh, belongs to the science based so but i'm talking about you know, all this so in the business analytics especially supply chain analytics is getting more and more um, uh, you know uh, demand nowadays so uh, just look at uh the learning look at the learning uh from the different uh, you know the journals uh, uh, publishing uh from economist or um, uh, mit press or some other harvard uh, website so they they have like a uh, directions then how the countries are going towards so what countries are doing what kind of things so you might have the choice on it okay uh the essential things which make our resume stronger i am not a resume expert i never went to a resume expert but i took uh, uh, you know significant uh, uh, like a advice from my friends sometimes uh, uh, to build my resume for and again it based on you the job you're looking for if you're applying for a post then you have to design your resume based on this if you build a single single generic resume and then you're applying the all sort of jobs through this generic resume you will be you will have a less success rate than you are making it's 11 hours multiple um, uh, types of say a uh, uh, resume okay and you should uh, try your luck in a different category say you are I graduated from marketing you might apply uh, to the government job um, or the banking job or mnc job or uh, within the mnc supply chain marketing sales um, even maybe human resource administrations so you never know okay so so you have to design this um there is a question i can see in the chat box um multinational company how about the social media specialist career yes there is an heaps of opportunity because all the online shopping um, uh, the digital marketing is that is omni channel is very important dig out on the omni channel marketing and um, so uh, it's a more is a demanding uh, social medias are used by uh, all the companies so and using social media getting more and more success technique is very important okay uh, in usa there is a transition period and giant company like kmart giant company like jc penny uh, sears like a more than 100 years company they are they are shutting down they are they are falling into bankruptcy do you know why they failed to cope up with the the latest changes of digital web whereas they were the number 1 2 3 companies uh, once upon a time and nobody thought they will crash one day and that is what is happening amazon is a new company fairly and they are now leading walmart is a fairly new company they are leading so that is that is that is how then you have to create the world and if you say there is no scope it is wrong you have to keep trying keep looking on it see over no car they have, they don't have any single taxi but they are the giant taxi providing company okay so think something like this way so this model will work for so many ways the uber model that is that is why it is called uberization uh, so this uberization model is work for that was we are uh, in uh, you know uh, involving uh, this kind of model in our studies uh, so you have to look at 
even in every sector, then you have to think that this model will work in a different way, uh, the things you are doing. Okay. What kind of business can I start investing limited capital? I think uh, you can see my YouTube video on it. Uh, I think uh, there is a video uh, based on the agri-based, agri -based, then how to start up. Um, so never think then there is a shortcut. Never think there is a shortcut. There is no shortcut, in fact, okay? So you will be successful. I told you so many times, and then in, if you go to a flower garden, then you'll find a rose, you'll find a daisy, you'll find a peony, you'll uh, you will get a lot of lot of kind of multicolor flowers. If it is a single color uh, garden, flower garden, and then you will be bored, like so. We are like this uh, in 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 Almighty's world. Somebody will reach, somebody will be poor, somebody will be the middle class, somebody will be the high class job, somebody will be struggling. And who will do what? I don't know. Nobody knows. So only thing I know, clear your heart. Keep clear your heart. Don't do anything wrong with the people. People will do so much wrong on you, but you should not do wrong with them as much as you just keep continue um, your your own work you, you at best you can defend your uh, st uh, you know situation nothing else you should not involve with the fighting okay even if you can okay uh, you will be rewarded soon that's how i believe okay and now it's up to you if you are too hurry to get the success i'm sorry for that i am not the right person to give you the solution so but you have to start from now don't think too much start working uh, i have told all these things to your classroom probably go to a grocery shop in your community and 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 sit sit there for okay give a free service for two years even the guy will not pay you a single penny single cup of tea provide you don't bother about that. The learning you will have, and it will be an asset. I don't think so. Then, then a lot of you will have the same intention. Okay. Uh, how do you see Uber Eats uh, leaving Bangladesh? I see it as an opportunity for our local companies because we know the model right now. Maybe the professional company left, and now this is the time to prove yourself. The, the, the other, you can open an, like a similar company based on the local supply. Let's say for you will open um, um, a service for Chitong based uh, as you are living in Chitong. So you can ensure uh, the quality service based on the same model. So you will grow up and one day you will uh, uh, cover all over Bangladesh. And one day you will reach all Asia, one day you will load all over the world. So how it uh, so how how would you like to think about this? So think something like this. So it will be like maybe a 25 year track, maybe 10 year track, it depends on. But uh, there is a proverb which says, do whatever you are doing, but do in a try to perfect. And nothing is perfect in this world. But it, what is perfection? That means do uh, you know better way than the whatever you did in your last time. I get chatek to halokora, and that is how the perfection will come. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, the next question is: What is the preferable answer? What concern? You have heard the job, I think it, it, it covers up. And then what is skills are captures to survive after the pandemic situation? I also mentioned, so you have to have all sort of skills. Uh, it's a kind of, you have to be a kind of an all rounder, you know, computer better than others. You have a good type and it's, it, it will make you a difference. 
you have to have a good social media uh, uh, engineering. That means what kind of engineering, how to deal these things, how to promote your companies, how to promote your companies, on how to uh, use the, uh, the online platform. That's how we are dealing it right now. Uh, I'm sure, and I'm glad to see that almost I found 60 people <clears throat> from sitting here uh, uh, in your class, in a particular class. I'm glad. So that is the beauty of the online. You cannot stop. Uh, you cannot stop uh, like education, okay? Uh, whether you, it is a, uh, involved with the money matter or it's a free of cost, it's a charity. What I'm doing is charity. What I'm doing is charity. Remind it. So uh, don't think uh, I'm not doing it free. I'm doing it for charity. So charity will have a payback, right? So I will get payback somewhere, uh, inshallah. So anyway, so computer skills is very important. Um, your um, social uh, abilities, the communication abilities, okay? And especially the more important we always forget because you belongs to marketing. You need to know about the marketing better than others. That's what I used to say every now and then. Whatever the course you have, you're taking, so you have to do it, okay? Uh, what sectors to be developed in Bangladesh? This is in policymakers' decisions, if I say something. See, we, in fact, in fact, we, 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 we I'm, I was working since my childhood in agro waste industry. Then we are finding that we are struggling since beginning. Then, so we found a lot of governments and governments were not take care that much. So actually, if even we suggest here, it will not work here. So if I tell you that uh, there is a heaps of opportunity uh, in this particular sector, Nobody will hear this. But for you, the guys, if you see the where is the demand lies on, 18 crore people, there is a food demand, there is a restaurant demand, there is a, like a fabrics demand. We don't have any of our own brand in our country, the garments brand. We are selling, we are making garments for the other company. We don't have any significant brand. We are not making good garments that much. I'm not talking about in general, like we are, see, we are uh, even eat, uh, eat festival, then we are importing this from India, Thailand. We are not making shoes. We are importing shoes from Thailand, India, and some other, Italy, and some other parts of the world. And, but our shoes are going to the USA. Our garments are going to the Europe and America, USA. So there is a heaps of things you have to do. And supply chain is the biggest thing. Online shopping should be easier. And I know that there are so many companies are trying to online and digital marketings and all this, but I know uh, uh, very few companies are able to make it as a professional way. So making it professional way is your challenge and you have to do it. And that is, you have to do it tomorrow. And I got another question. Dilan says, I face a problem while coming up with the new ideas. The product I want to bring is already there. I don't understand how to detect its USB. <laughs> that means your idea was not new. So whenever you generating idea, there is a, I forgot, it's a 10 step ideas or eight step. So uh, from idea generation and screening and all this, whenever you are generating idea, then you need to know then what is existing. So if you miss something and then you will find, and then if you find, uh, if you if you presume that oh nobody has it and then finally uh, after after uh, examining ten the stage then you will find that oh somebody has done it too bad frankly and then world has done a lot of trial don't think you are and you and me are too smart uh, that we will invent something new instantly don't demoralize uh, rather we will innovate someone's idea. Okay, we will innovate someone's idea. Uh, we can do it. Okay, say uh, you will find some news from uh, Bangladeshi mechanics that they are uh, illiterate, but they they have like a power uh, trailer uh, trailer, and then they are making it like a uh, the the crops collector or something like that. So there's the little bit of innovation. 
So here John Deere is doing business and, and, and here, you know, uh, the place I'm living here, it's a crop belt. So they're cultivating their huge land by using GPS remotely, by sitting at home like a video game. Can you imagine? Uh, they are seeding it, they are uh, like and the plowing it and all this. So they are seeding it, they are uh, uh, the cleaning the weed, weeds and all this. Uh, and they are collect harvesting, they are collecting, they are packaging, everything is automated. Not all the stuff, I'm talking about the, the giant farmers are using these technologies. So we are uh, using this technology, uh, but we can use, but the is, uh, investment is too high. So what we can do, we can remake this, like China did it, and remake this, remodel it, and sell it. So this is a science. But what we used to do then, we will give the ideas, we will make it some ideas. Uh, I can share a like, little bit of example. When my... Uh, we start first hatchery, and then we found that the quality hatchery machine incubator is cost like a one crore, around one crore taka. Uh, we cannot, we could not afford on the time. So me and my brother was thinking then what could the, my brother say then, uh, okay, let's see then how, how they make it. So we went to Malaysia, Thailand, China, and see that then what is the incubator? Then we, uh, brought one incubator from uh, like uh, Thailand or Malaysia. Uh, uh, and then uh, my brother had opened all the parts and then he made one by one parts from the different mechanics of made in. And then he made in one incubator at the cost of probably 10 lakhs, 15 lakhs, okay. The machine may not give you the accuracy or efficiency of like the one crore machine, but the machine is not giving the like 100 times less accuracy than that machine. Five times more because it's a 15 like this, like the one crore. So it's not giving like a seven times less accuracy or performance, whatever you say. So this is what we have to think about. You have to be innovative. You have to, you have to do something, you know, innovate the things. You have to think about the vending machines. You have to think about the digital marketing, you have to think about supply chain, you have to think about electronic automated warehousing, you have to think about automatic inventory, you have to think about uh, so many things like machine learning. Okay. Anyway, so there are so many things to do. Uh, already one hour, 15 minutes gone. Um, okay. Will the post corona period, we have a lot to man and we have a lot to build. Maybe, maybe not. Um, uh, it depends on the situation. Obviously, the, the world will not be the same after Corona and uh, people already got the lesson. The government got the lesson. They understand we are nothing. Science is not enough to deal superbugs. Um, superbugs. So probably there will be more precautions. There will be and coming more investments on science uh, will be there. And there will be more uh, evenly productions. The globalization concept maybe uh, will be wrong again. Uh, you understand the like the um, in our uh, marketing concept, we understand the product concept, production concept, and something. So we may go back to the product concept again. So uh, production concept. Uh, okay, we have to make our own product in a certain amount so that we will not struggle in a critical time. Like, I can give an example of like USA suffering for toilet paper. It's a, it was running out within a week and, and hand sanitizer. Do you know, I just got a one hand sanitizer of like 100 ml. Just I got it day before yesterday. Last four months, I was looking at every places, every online shop. I didn't get any single, but the day before yesterday, I collect one from online. I the price was the 100 ml uh, it as hand sanitizer is $4. It is a high price based on the Walmart price. Anyway, but we, I got it. I'm happy on this. So last four months, the pandemic is going on. 
So we need an hand sanitizer, according to the scientist, but I didn't get it. I didn't get any mask. So that is the things happen why, you know, they relied on this particular country or particular production house too much. So that's what in supply chain, we learned about the single sources and multiple sources. And we obviously um, think about this, okay. So next question is, uh, how many challenges may be the tourism and restaurant sector face the upcoming years you know, with a huge risk working in uh, renowned hotel, resort, or restaurant? Mm, yes or no. Uh, so tourism sector will be a little bit of stumble definitely because of the uh, contagious um, situation then people uh, it will it will take some time to normalize uh, so far my understanding so i believe i believe i believe um, yeah, for the time being it will be a problem everything is um, you cannot do it virtually so there will be so many uh, stakeholders will be a loser uh will it be a huge risk um risk is everywhere to be frankly uh, maybe one day i believe one day uh, it will be proved that the lockdown may be the wrong i'm not sure i'm not a scientist maybe uh, if it is continued for a year for example and then see then all economy will, will be collapsed and then people has uh, lose their immunity by sitting at home because they didn't have a, they don't have any physical activities they don't have um, like any enough exercises or enough fresh air and all these so they are getting weakened um, and so they have a, a less ability to deal uh, the virus and bacterial infections yeah, they have less uh, weakened immune system. Probably, I'm not sure, but I'm not a scientist again, but probably it might happen. What will happen then? So it's better to face it, maybe, but scientists do will do the best. This is my opinion only. If it is continued for the next uh, 12 months like this, and then probably there will be a big question of like uh, within 7 billion people, 2 or 3 billion people will be struggling to get food. Okay. And USA uh, already, uh, you see the four core people are, uh, are lose the job, and so so it's a terrible situation in Bangladesh and some other country as well. Yeah, um, there is a we can expect a boom. Uh, yeah, every every uh, there is a bull effect. You see that uh, there will be a boom after a like a disaster, but it will. And now it's a question of how many years it will take to recover. Nobody knows this answer, but obviously there will be a boom. And if the situation will normalize, what will happen once uh, uh, one, uh, once you, the people are in a bad patch and then once they get out from the bad patch and then they will uh, um, struggle a lot to recover the situation. And then this is how um, then you will get more and more um, uh, success. And so and the more and more success will get more and more uh, uh, boom. Okay. So you can switch on microphone one by one. You can ask a few questions on me. Uh, uh, I'm getting monotonous to answer all these questions because I'm in number 20 right now. I think the questions are almost uh, similar uh, in some cases. Um, no one can say like which is specific skill requirement for getting job. I think we can answer and how can we get the working opportunity in a foreign market after finishing BBA and MBA. Always look at the job opportunities. Uh, I have mentioned it in the classroom that there will be um, the, the job market. You should not think about the job market is only belongs to Bangladesh. Okay. 
uh, you can think about job market is for Middle East, uh, Europe, and even Africa. And Africa is the tomorrow's future. Um, and so many countries are moving to Africa for their production units and all this because of the low cost and the resources. So you might need to go to the Africa for a job. So you have to get prepared yourself. So and go to the different side, apply a couple of job and see their feedback. And I am sure that um, if you have some expertise, then uh, obviously. So uh, the BBA and MBA, so in the USA, the most of the people are doing job after graduation. That means in BBA level, okay? Mm. And then they do the MBA and some other things when they are doing job because most of the time because they they get the experience and then they they're doing mba and sometimes uh, most of the times their employers are um, what is called uh, sponsoring their degrees the mba degrees and the postgraduate so that uh, it will be more convenient they are saving money they are earning money at the same time so this is how it's going on any questions What would be the situation for us at the time we entered into job? For us at the time we entered into uh, These are the very basic questions. Actually, whenever you enter a job, the first thing, is the, the main thing you have to, then you have to observe. Don't speak too much, just observe the things, listen carefully, follow the instructions. And your sixth sense should be uh, just always open to keep open to realize the situation, how they're dealing, and watch everybody, and then how to deal the situations and all this. So uh, you have to be quick learner to adapt if you don't know anything else. And this is how then you have to cope up the environment very quickly. Okay. Study guideline, I have told enough. Just go to the particular uh, university site and see the admission guidelines and then just make ready yourself based on the guidelines and apply for the admissions and then for a scholarship. And then if you don't get a scholarship, you have to pay from your pocket. The most of the times then students are paying uh, first semester money from their own pocket. And then when they're able to go to the abroad country like US and Europe, and then what will happen, they, they got um, uh, the part-time jobs or get a residentship or residentship to cover it up, okay? Uh, okay, once you say in our class that good boss is important to learn your work efficiently, if I find my boss not friendly and conservative, then what I can do then? Adjust yourself as a newcomer. If you don't, then look for the second opportunity. And I think the bosses are not will not be a friend always. Mm, there is a reason. If you will be boss, you will be the same. That's for sure. Okay. Um, but you have to take the learning from your boss, not fighting with them. Uh, if you fight with them, and in fact, your learning will be stopped then your opportunity will be stopped. But there will be an opportunity, even if your boss is not good, and there will be an opportunity, there will be time come and then to discuss with your boss then, uh, then what is the error and what is the situation could be uh, developed more better than the way he or she dealt. But there is a time you have to wait for a particular time to say whatever you want to say, not say immediately, think twice, thrice, more than thrice, then before you speak something, will it be a problem for you or not? So anyway, so I think um, that is the good approach for you. And if you, after after that, if you think then it's, it's not possible to stay this company, I hate this boss and boss hate me a lot. And then you have to look for alternative. Without getting alternative, I suggest not to leave the company right now. Okay, get something else and leave the company 
politely. Most of the times, our peoples are doing whatever, you know, get a job and they are and proudly, they just give a reason. Oh, I got a job and uh, I don't care about you. No, you cared about this job until you get another job. So don't do this. It's a, it's a like a, um, it's, it's not a good behavior to me. Uh, once you get something good and then you are throwing out this job, but you, you never throw this job until you get something. So, so this is, this is, a, this trick is not good for you and you will pay back one day for this behavior. Okay. Uh, I think the most of the questions are the how you will get the job in uh, a broad country. See, a broad country, I think the struggle we used to do in Bangladesh, and I can tell my the effort I have given to Chita University. Believe me, I am giving only 5% of it here or 10%. Even um, Less than that, sometimes I'm thinking, I was mentally pressurized and I was always taking care, like I had to stay like long hour. And even I go home, then I was talking, uh, I used to talk with my students. I was active in social media. I was organizing something else. I was communicating with the alumni. So many things to do based on the my previous job. And now I have a certain rules and regulations, certain uh, 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 like uh, a role to play and that's what I have to play nothing more and nothing less so there is a structure I think Bangladeshi peoples are doing far far more more better um, than uh, the thing they are doing in the home country because of we used to do more struggle in a broad con uh, home country so it is easy for us Atkia is asking question, once it's a matter of branding, I get puzzled between the value proposition and positioning a statement. Would you please give an example, which will be easy for uh, to the understanding. <laughs> so it's connected actually. So um, again, um, there is a two things you have talked about the value propositions. A product has a value propositions, okay? Why we should buy this product? Maybe it's for price, maybe it's for a quality, maybe it's for a time. And there is so many reasons on it, okay? Maybe for a brand or so. Now, what is positioning statement? It depends on the person to person, how you are thinking about it. Positioning in the customer's mind. I might think about the price, okay? Okay, and say, for example, like if you are asking at uh, like a tele televisions, okay, uh, if you want to buy a television, so what will happen? Uh, if you look at like, oh, this is a, like a 60 inch television, it's a big one. So it's a position on based on the size. Okay, what brand it is? Oh, like XYZ, I never heard about the brand. Okay, so which one you most care? If you care brand, say you care about the brand, the, like you want care about the Sony, and at the same time you are caring about the, the sizes and the price will go up like a thousand dollar, for example. So you cannot afford it. It's not, the, the value is not the value, proper value proposition for you, okay? So if you are a price sensitive, but at the same time you have a requirement of a sizes of televisions. So you have a size of television of 60 inch, but you don't care about the brand. So you want it within a like a couple of hundred dollars and then you get it. So this is how it differentiates. So it depends on the persons. Then the company is producing a product and they are giving the proposition, value proposition to the, they're throwing the value propositions to the uh, peoples. Um, but the people's uh, mind has worked in a different way. And now 
they are thinking about okay how they are keeping the uh, the product as a, a position in their uh, psychology okay how much essential uh, it could be explained a more better way because the time constraint uh, so uh, how much essential for a good gpa is i never suggest anyone to get a four out of four but those who get i do respect okay i was a backbencher i can tell my story uh, i never scored like like fast plus fast or so i never hit like t12 10 out of 10. <laughs> so but whatever the distance i traveled i'm happy it's not too much uh, necessary that you have to have a, like a definitely good gpa cgpa and and you'll see the most uh, successful entrepreneurs doesn't have good start, uh, education even they have they don't have uh, good cgpa okay so um, it, it's not actually um, it's a big deal. So the big deal is the way you start up. Maybe you, if some job requirement like 3.75, you, you have like 3.5, you will disqualify initially. That's the sad part of the CGPA requirement. In USA, I am, uh, uh, when I apply for some uh, positions, uh, nobody asked for like a no none of that advertisement i have seen then you have to have this yeah gpa uh even i didn't have any cgp i have it like him in our time it was a first class center that means 60 means first class. so it was like the the international one never understand this so if you evaluate this 60 marks so we got like a even first class 60 that means you b the B is should not be evaluated by uh, this kind of universities or so, but they don't care about this. They see the terminal degree, right? Last degree, what you did, like what you did in SSC, they don't care. If you have a PhD, they care about, uh, okay, uh, you did something good or bad, okay? So why, how, how I become a supply chain professor here? because I have had a PhD in supply chain management. If I had a PhD in marketing, they will never accept this application here. So like this. So don't bother about this just, but if you get a good GPA, what's wrong with you? If you get a good GPA and then you will have more scope, but have a knowledge on the real life, okay? So that's the best important things. I think you are feeling bored. Someone speaks up, please. Priya is here. Sir, salam alaikum. Alaikum Sir, am I audible? Yes. Sir, uh, I am keen to... Sir, how are you and your family? I'm fine. My family is good, doing good. Sir, I want to know uh, that when we want to study abroad, we got to write a letter to the professor explaining why we want to study it there. Sir, how to write it and what to write in it? Could you please explain? Uh, There's this another chapter of explanation. So in, in a brief, like the course you are going to choose uh, say you are choosing supply chain or marketing why do you choose okay and so there is a lot of pro performa you will get in website and it's better to collect it uh, from your um, uh, uh, what is called senior brothers or sisters uh, those who are recently uh, went to higher studies and it will be good but it could be written in so many ways. The most importantly, you have to mention then why you need this degree and how it will help you to enrich yourself, uh, to uh, accomplish your future goals. And, and you know that, that there is a two types of goal, long and short term, then you can explain both. And this is how it's learning. And how the environment will give you the learning. If you come to USA or Europe, and then how it will help you to 
the future learnings and then uh, how this environment will give you the learning so when you come back with this learning to you back to your country how you will apply this lesson to uh, the industry which industry you are going to apply so these are the sort of things that you have to explain mm, uh, and so you have to give a little bit of realistic touch and then what you will learn that's why you have to have a little bit of idea what sort of courses are involving with the degrees and also what sort of contents will help uh, you to get more and more learning so that's how it works actually thank you sir uh, you're welcome so because so many questions are here, so it is very hard to answer um, one by one. But that's why you have to spend a uh, lot of um, time to, uh, you know, uh, edit these things, to generalize these, the common questions. And so segregate this question based on the uh, theme. And it would be much better. So anyway, you were 26, you were, uh, uh, what semester you were belongs to? Third, fourth? Start fifth semester. Okay, fifth semester. Uh, people are coming and going. I'm not sure the internet is not good here. Maybe. I'm just tired of accepting and admitting. So, um, how can we deal with the next crisis in our agriculture? Um, what kind of advanced technology can I apply? Technologies is everywhere. So uh, you can find the technology by Google search. So I'm not sure what kind of agriculture sector you're talking about. So it's easy to find out the technologies, even if you ask Google, oh, how to hatch my egg. So they will show you. So you need not to ask Professor Doha to do, uh, to get the answer. Why I'm telling this? Because uh, technology is everywhere and people are ready to supply the technology to you. But can you afford the money okay will you share the Naragro situation and the experience when you started oh it's a long journey and then we have shared a lot my brother is always sharing the information listen to him and i sometimes share the informations and um, what are the things so it was a 35 years journey 80, 86 to 2020 that's what i can tell in a short uh, it's a 34 years journey it's, it was not that easy. Uh, uh, obviously, there was a, uh, so many time came to us, like uh, we were about to broken our heart due to the losses and uh, so many reasons. There is a fire case, there is a theft case, there is an accidental case, there is a disease case, there is a disaster case, there is a uh, lack of market price cases and so but you have to hold your nerves but it's not easy again uh, so but one thing that, that if I tell the story here in one sentence you have to keep continue doing your business even if it is in a adverse situation um, in a pandemic situation we are losing crores of money in a week but nothing to do. We are, we are um, holding this business for the good time. And then you have to wait for the good time. And then you have to scheme that money in, the, in a good time. People will say so many things. People will never care about your bad time. And when the, uh, say when your egg price is 10 taka, then you will shut down and you will flooded with the status in your Facebook. You will, you will have a lot of cartoon characters and all these. You'll have a lot of funny videos made for making this. But who cares when the egg price is taka too? Have you seen any videos when the egg price is too? When the, the chicken price is 80s, 70s? No. Even we sold out in a free of cost. We crushed so many day old chicks and we stopped producing the millions of chicks. Um, uh, and we are losing millions of uh, dollars, but nobody is caring right now, right? So that is, is happening. So, but you, you cannot break down. So you have to keep continuing your work 
and people will talk so many things. People will think about their own facilities always. That's how we are grooming. Uh, but you have to do your own. So um, uh, people will say, oh, you are skimming all the money <laughs> and people, yeah, and you are taking all the money in your pocket. And the, people will hurt you so many ways. But, you know, whenever they will do it, they cannot sustain it even for six months. Okay. So it's not easy. Uh, 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 if you listen to uh, like entrepreneur, then they will tell so many good stories in a short time and don't step up within a quick time having this story, but make sure, make sure that can you, there is a lot of, lots of, lots of, lots of pain uh, to uh, 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 within this journey, okay? So how can we prepare ourselves for the job, I have answered a couple of times. How first student behind? <laughs> it's an interesting question. How behind are we from the, that the first student? That that if it doesn't mean that, that we securing the first class first or as the highest GPA, then you are how far behind of that student? Do you uh, like if you think that he or she is the benchmark of your class? And I'm sorry for that. Every people is unique. Every people is unique in a certain manner, but you have to explore yourself what manner. I think you, you have seen the three idiots and then it is an enough lesson to find out then what is the speciality on you and you have to find out uh, by yourself. So the GPA, the CGPA is a, one of the quality only, but there are so many qualities so many qualities. I always used to say in a fun way uh, that, that I'm a teacher of the backbencher because I was a backbencher. And and so many frontbencher used to write me in my message box, sir, it's not fair. We follow you, we like you, but you told that then you follow, uh, you are the teacher of backbencher. That was a fun thing, but you know why? Uh, if you see the, the real life, the backbenchers, the, um, are leading the world and that is the failure of the front bencher i should say uh, because there is a the front benchers uh, i don't know why they are keeping their um, uh, you know uh, what is called um, the the goal to that certain frame the back bencher has a like it they are stuck in the um, stuck they are uh, stuck in the middle and or uh, so they don't have to, they have to keep try something. They have to be something. They don't have any options. They don't have any good GP. So they, they will not get a chance to M and C or so. They have to keep trying themselves. So that is the, maybe the reason they are exploring themselves a, a bit of them. So if you think about the Bill Gates, if you think about um, Steve Jobs, mm -hmm. and if you think about our entrepreneurs in our country, even they cannot write and talk uh, like us, but they are, they are hiring like uh, us, so many of us, uh, kind of people first, first, first in their company to their company. Okay, so if I want to work with an agro farm, how do I process in the future? So there is a heaps of opportunity in agro based farm, but our mindset is then we have to work uh, like I have a mindset of the same that uh, we have to work in a uh, FMCG or uh, the good companies, reputed company, but in agro-based companies, they have a heaps of opportunity nowadays. And so, um, and if you make it professionally, and then there is a heaps of opportunity. I think the salary is good right now. That so many companies are working right now. You can zoom into a uh, few companies and and talk to the existing people, and then how they are. Uh, doing it and so how much they are achieving it. Uh, how far behind we are from the first world student? Uh, not too far, but attitude, based on the attitude, uh, they are far, uh, uh, you know, uh, away than you, the guys. Uh, they have enough confidence. Our student, uh, uh, the lack of confidence, um, it is normal because our environment is always having a scarce of job, scarce of facilities. So that's created us and a panic 
whether I can do something or not. That is the panic always we have. Can we do something or not? Can you show me one single, can you show me one single unemployed person in your marketing alumni list that they didn't manage anything else? You can find one or two maybe because of their personal family reasons they have disturbed or so. I found some cases and then I explored it and then I found they have had a family issues. That's why they lag behind of the race. But 99% got the success in a different way. So don't afraid of the future. Just keep doing whatever you are doing. Uh, build yourself, build communication skills, and, and do the study appropriately, and, and keep the concepts clear in your mind and so that you can explain it to the others. That is important. You understand the concept, that is enough, that is not enough. And you can explain it to the others as a leader, as a boss. So that will, you know, make the difference tomorrow. Uh, no, that is not possible right now. Uh, uh, visiting a hatchery, that is because why? Because I'm not there and I do not know. That is an issues of, that is why that is a very sensitive industry. And we are dealing virus and bacteria since long. And now you understand how dangerous is virus and bacteria and we are dealing it since 30 years. So that's why it's not open. So we are not freely inviting uh, the peoples. Uh, if I will be uh, in Bangladesh, and so actually I, I, I am not committing. Maybe the feed mill, uh, I can uh, try my best. And so because uh, the problem is, you know, we have uh, like more than 100,000 super students. I cannot invite all of them. That's why I never opened up. I can hardly take like seven or eight people at a time. So uh, that's why I'm sorry for that because it is not possible sometimes. So, but you have to keep trying and somehow, someday, uh, maybe an opportunity will be open up to see. And, uh, and it's not like it will not be happen never. So it's, it, it may be... Uh, can happen if you keep continuing your uh, desire, uh, keep showing your desire, and one day maybe I will say, okay, Imam, go, um, can you go with me? So, but if you just approach today and then uh, I forgot one day and then uh, it will be gone. Okay, any question? You can speak up, you can uh, open up your um, um, speaker and so you can ask one by one questions and so that we can have uh, some live sessions, uh, uh, live question and answer sessions. Uh, hello. You can ask me questions if you like to. If you don't, then I can hang up, then I can finish it up. Where is Priya or CR? I, Priya is here. She did a good job. Um, she has um, collected all the email and supplied to uh, me. Sure, but I have a hmm. Do you have any questions or anybody has any questions? Ask me. No, sir, you, I'm a person I'm talking with you. No question. Interesting. I'm going to be back at the microphone. But last but not least, again, uh, before before I wrapping up, um, develop yourself. Um, uh, develop yourself. Uh, there is no alternative of developing yourself. If you develop yourself, opportunity will be there. Uh, we are assuming that the coming futures uh, will not be easy one because of the the pandemic situations. Uh, the job market will be shrinked. But again. Uh, 
there will be a boom, expected boom, uh, uh, but we don't know then uh, when the boom will be exactly happen. Uh, but uh, whenever you will be graduated, but you are lucky that you are in fifth semester, you will be continue another two three years uh, as a student. But those who are graduating now, they will face the challenge uh, right away. Um, uh, wish them a good luck. Um, I believe they can manage something good, and I pray for them always because there are so many of you are my students, and. Uh, um, I know that I'm a, I'm busy here, but you know after that I feel all of you. Uh, that's why I'm spending some time with you. And uh, but it's it's a time consuming to do all this through this way to invite you the guys. But if you want more sessions in a specific manner, and that would be much fruitful. Maybe if you have a, like a 40, 50 questions, it is very hard to. And the questions is a. a, a the questions you asked from the different themes, yeah. Uh, so it is, it is, it is difficult for me to deal uh, uh, elaborately. After that, I have taken almost two hours. I believe that then it it will work for you. Uh, one more last time. Any questions? You have to learn uh, how to ask question. Uh, in this environment. Okay. That's enough. Sir, okay. So we don't have any more questions. It was very helpful. Sir, if you can please do uh, some occasional sessions whenever you have time. See, so you have to. Could, so, Dilan. Dilan. Yes, sir. You have to cry for it if you need it. Okay, I'll be there. Always. I think I I think I am always one step forward than you, the guys. I am approaching them, but the approach should be come from you, the guys. Uh, but unfortunately, I am approaching you. Do you need me? Do you need me? It's like I am begging you. <laughs> so, no, sir, no, sir. So, uh, but organized way, uh, as, uh, it, uh, if it is organized so way, it's learning. It's a huge learning. Uh, believe me, this session, those who have attended, believe me, this is the way all the office works are going on right now. This is the way I have ended up my semester. Okay. Uh, I have taken my classes and communicated with my students, and this is the way I have done it. So this is the future. I'm not sure why why not the Bangladeshi institutes are not a 